<clears throat> All right, September 10th, 2016. I've just got back from uh, Don Kuchmeyer's, Fat Beat Man. Went over to his place this morning. I bought three queens, so I'm going to be putting those in today. Hopefully take care of my queenless issue and hopefully replace one other queen that's a little on the mean side. In other news, I have a new suit. I bought the ventilated suit. Finally, no more gigantic cotton Michelin man suit. And uh, so far, I'll say it's better. It is still hot. Uh, there's not much of a breeze today. A little bit of breeze up in the high leaves, uh, high part of the trees. But down here where I am, not too much air moving. As I move, I feel uh, the air on my arms and through the, through the jacket itself. We'll find out how it works as far as uh, the lack of stings once I get into the hive and actually see what's going on. Uh, like I said, two hives today are queenless. Um, a third I'm gonna go into probably replace, replace that queen, uh, but I'm gonna check all the hives to make sure that I've got laying queens because uh, these are the last three, period. All right, so we're going into hive number five right now. We're going into uh, Saw a queen. The, uh, this hive has been unable to raise a queen. Um, oh, in other news, uh, new smoker as well. Um, don't know how I like it. I like my old woodsman. Um, woodsman was a classic, but I accidentally poked a hole in the top of it. Let me turn this thing so I can see what I'm doing. I accidentally uh, poked a hole in the top of it the other day trying to get the lid to go down. So that was a sad day. So I think I've retired my woodsman and we'll see how this one works. Uh, this hive has been plagued with beetle problems. So while I'm going through it, I'm also being very observant of beetles. <laughs> See, my beetle problem. Beetles everywhere in this hive. All right, so I think I'll start over here on my number 10 frame today. Start going through my hive. I want to make sure that in the uh, in the time since I've been in here last that they didn't raise their own queen. I want to make sure that uh, they are well and truly queen queenless. So I'm taking my this back just a little bit if I can. There we go. A little better vision of what I see. What I see with beetles. Grab my friend, grab her. Just a little bit of nectar in here. Nothing else of interest. So the hive seems agitated, seems loud, all the classic signs of queenlessness. We're gonna need a new beetle trap there. Undrawn frame. 
our frame of undrawn foundation, I should say. Be more accurate. Got uh, pollen, nectar, lots of pollen over on this side. All right, now we're getting into the bulk of our bees. All right, a little bit of honey in here. Empty comb, a couple of beetles running around. Just a frame of honey. So I don't see a queen, don't see a sign of any queens. See very little action in this hive. So I'm going to put these two frames right here. Time to go get our lady. Right. Here's our queen. She is right there. You can see her abdomen right there. She turns around, heads about the other way. I guess I could bring that in frame a little bit for you, couldn't I? So, of course, standard procedures. Um, your standard three hole uh, queen cage. One hole is filled with fondant or queen candy. Uh, screen wire stapled over the holes. Hole in one end with a cork. Hole on the candy end with a cork. This is the one we want to pull out. So, take our hive tool. Just kind of fish it around a little bit. In the process, we completely destroyed this thing. This is not coming out well at all. Hmm. All right. In that case, you go get a screw. Okay. Take two. Uh, wood screw. A couple of turns. And it doesn't come out still. There. Cork. Take the cork off, put it in your pocket. End of the day, three queens, three corks. Three queens, two corks, problem. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lady, I'm gonna face her with the fondant up in case any bees die, they fall down, not through her escape. Snuggle her right in like this, and I'm gonna get a little bit of grip towards the end. Take the frame next to it, squish it over a little bit. This is why I don't like using spacers in my hive. Just like that. That's all there is to that. I'm gonna drop my beetle blaster back in there. I'm going to leave this frame out. Uh, so I've only got nine frames in my 10 frame hive here. So we're going to leave that one out. We're going to put this hive back up. We'll check back in in about two or three days.